The Fowler's Toads are now all along the shoreline of Ridgeside Lake. You've got a series of pictures here, mostly pretty typical. Fowler's Toads scrape food off of uh, leaves and substrates, so they do a lot of shaking like that, like you see in here, and they move along and they scrape up with keratinized scrapers, uh, algae and bacteria. This clip is pretty amazing. From underneath that um, point at the top, you're going to see a heligramite come out, a Dobson fly larva, and attack the tadpole. It attacks three or four times. Tadpoles are so oblivious that they don't even know they're being attacked until it finally, you know, hurts or something like that. Anyways, it attacks and, and it, it seems to try to get it, but the tadpole does escape. The last two scenes of this video, this one and the next, are pretty typical tadpole behavior and, and colonization video. Um, they tend to hang out in large groups even though they have no social life and no social interactions. They're sitting on top of a leaf which means it's something that um, algae and bacteria accumulate on so they can scrape it off easily. So you've got that one and then you've got another one. and. Um, Tadpoles tend to live in a highly organic soup. Um, there's got to be a lot of algae and bacteria to feed thousands and thousands of tadpoles, and it looks like Ridgeside Lake has thousands right now. Um, you also see in the lower part some of the oligochate worms, and um, I don't think they prey on tadpoles, but they do annoy them a lot, because you'll see one touch a tadpole and oh, shake and run. So. Um, that's it for today, checking out the tadpoles in Ridgeside Lake. The Fowler's toads are there in abundance.